And as tough as this is to uh, making it getting around and, and just traveling in general to everyday life, but boy, does it lend to some really cool pictures, pictures. sometimes. And some of our viewers have been taking some shots and sending them in. This is, uh, I think this is... In Kerrville. Kerrville. Here we go. This is from Johnny Ochoa, and you can see the ice just covering those vehicles this morning. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for sending those pictures. All right, this is uh, a little further east of there. This is uh, Aaron Musgrove sent this to us from Fredericksburg this morning. This was early this morning, obviously before the sun was up. They already had a good dusting over the cars and driveways and everything before the sun came up. And then this is in our parking lot. I think Paul took this shot mm -hmm. of his truck right. early this morning out in the Ken's Five parking lot. It's a pretty creative picture there, Paul. Good job. And here you can see the weather actually causing a pretty big road closure near downtown and then this is ice hanging off the lights in North Bear County. This is actually my house. My husband sent me this picture just a little while ago. You can see the ice accumulation there right, right. there on the tree branches and on the lights as well. You know, that's the cool thing. It makes the trees look uh, look really cool. But my wife just called me a few minutes ago too and said, listen, we already have a limb down. Uh, right. in the yard from one of our trees. So that's the bad thing. It keeps tearing the, the limbs down. And that's what Sarah was saying a while ago. Uh, CPS was saying it's not power outages from lack of, you know, preparation. It's right. tree limbs and things, the wind. And make sure to stick with us as we continue to track this Arctic blast. We're going to have the most recent updates throughout the morning online and on Kens5.com, also on our app as well.